My name's Philip Lane, and the railway is called the Holly Beach Railway. The line began in 1991, and uh, we uh, sold a car, which we used all the cash for to buy a collection of Pico track. And within a matter of a day or two, we had track halfway across the lawn, and uh, it grew from there. It's basically three loops, three concentric loops with a common track across the garden. And we've introduced a push-pull shuttle that runs from one end of the garden to the other. We've modelled an abandoned line with a derelict engine built to order, which my father constructed out of scrap, and that just sits there going rusty all the time. Another feature is the swing bridge, which is pretty unique because it's a bridge on a curve and that enables us to go down the garden and that's got protected micro switches in it so locos don't fall off the track and we've got two blind tunnels up this end at the terminus end where uh, you can store a complete train of up to um, 16 coaches uh, in some 16 feet of tunnel. Apart from those tunnels there are two other tunnels on the line. One, the long tunnel, the children love because they can stand at one end, especially the shorter children, they can see right through it and they can see a train coming from both directions. And that goes underneath the rockery by the pond. It's nicely weathered. It was the earliest uh, part that we built. It's on the damp side of the garden, so you've got a nice lot of moss that's growing over it. The other side of the garden where the barbecue is, we decided to build an extension round to that. Everything has been built on extension with railways, as in the real thing. You, need, you have a need for it. So by the barbecue, there's a station which, of course, is called Barbecue End. And when I'm standing cooking barbecues, the trains are passing me by, and uh, I can control the trains with radio control at that point, so I can stop them if I need be, and send the old sausage or two around the other side of the garden. The control box is particularly interesting. It's based on the control box my grandfather built in the late 1940s for his railway in Orpington, which was a 00 gauge one, made almost entirely out of XRAF switches and controls, but considerably modernised inside. I built another railway in the last, uh, this year, that we built a five inch railway. They always say that if you start big, you get bigger and down in the woods we built a five inch line which uh, was a result of seeing an advertisement in a paper when I wasn't looking for anything for a complete lot of five inch jubilee track and that goes all round the woods and that's a ride on railway we've got a couple of locomotives, a battery operated electric diesel and a very nice little 040 steam and that will pull quite happily four adults round that railway <laughs>